Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. So many of you know that I carry a ankle medical kit, right? I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this. I can carry this on duty, off duty, side gigs, whatever I'm doing, right? This thing, as long as I'm wearing the appropriate pants, uh, this thing fits fantastically. I have like a chest seal and everything. I'll probably do a whole nother video of this once I update it, but basically I got everything I need to do a little bit of airway, a lot of hemorrhage control, you know, some really immediate care stuff right there on my ankle until I can get to my medical bag that's in my vehicle or my house or wherever, right? So the only thing that was really missing was an effective trauma bandage. So I have some Celox in one little pouch here and then some gauze right here. That's all I could really fit in there at the time. And the reason for the gauze is back in the day whenever you had a wound after you stuffed it or if you didn't have anything else to stuff it with you use curlix and gauze wrapped it up and then you hit it with an ace wrap basically wrap it on the outside or if you were lucky and had this really trauma bandages or the etbs i think they're called now you could slap that on top really start wrapping it up real good good get some good compression like a good compression bandage on there and affect better care to that wound so I wanted to find a replacement. Um, I wanted to find something that would fit. A regular Israeli trauma bandage, even if it's vacuum sealed, is not gonna fit my ankle medical kit. So I started doing a little bit of research and everything, and I know there's, I know things have changed over the years ever since I got out of the medical field, but I came across some of these. Mini flat fold trauma bandages. I mean, look how thin this is. This is a four inch, four inch by six inch actually, absorbent non-absorbent i'm sorry non-adherent absorbent pad i can't talk this morning guys and a 32 inch elastic wrap that affects compression onto the injured area now this whole package is you know technically it this is just like a tail there's nothing here actually it's just plastic but i got two of these right two for about 16 dollars and 90 cents shipped to my house um, if you look at some of the H and H stuff on Amazon, they're like nine or ten bucks for one. So I thought this was a pretty good deal, but I've never heard of this company at all. And I might just be out of the loop, and they might actually be decent. But since they came with two, I figured we'd go ahead and open this one up and see kind of what we get. So just looking at this packaging, I know I can already use this for like chest seals and shit. So that's kind of nice. And another thing that I like is all these tear notches. They have tear notches everywhere, right? Which is nice because you don't want to be fumbling like, oh my God, where do I open this thing when you need it? You can just start from any corner and find a place to open it. I don't think I'm gonna open it this way because it'd be kind of difficult to get it out right there, but I think I will open it right here. So this is very nice. It's vacuum packed. It says it's patent pending and uh, it's very, very well packaged. It even gives you directions. Like if you're stopping to read directions, this is the wrong time to learn when to do this, by the way. You should be familiar how to use this before you have to pull it out and use it. Uh, it's also in French because they're an ally and for whatever reason, we have to have everything medical in French. It's kind of weird. But this seemed really familiar with the ETBs that I was accustomed to. So that's kind of why I drifted in this direction. Wow, that was really well vacuum sealed. So it's uh, aluminum coated on the inside, so that's nice. Has that nice sterile medical smell to it. Look at that. Wow, interesting. Wow, that is small. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh, that's crunchy wow In that package you can use that also for like I said a uh, sealing up a chest wound or, or whatever so I mean I usually like to keep plastic with me anyway or saran wrap but now they recommend that you have vented chest seals if you are gonna do chest seals I'll do a whole nother video on that or there's there's more up-to-date medics out there and YouTube channels and videos I could probably do a better job this is some legit elastic right here Wow, look at that. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's gonna put some compression on a wound. Okay, that's interesting. Hold on, let me get this done. I have really bad ADD, guys, I'm sorry. Wow, 
Wow, that's almost like the same material that like a cummerbund would be made out of on a, on a plate carrier. Okay, so this pad right here, which all this is sterile by the way, not so much anymore, because I'm touching it, but it's only held in by a small section of sewing right there, a little bit of stitching. So it kind of allows it to, I guess, conform to the wound a little better. But you would put that on the actual injury and just start wrapping and offering comp like you know, compression on that wound. And wow, that's, that's actually really nice. So once you got it wrapped all the way around, you've got these teeth right here that once you get all the way around and you got that, that good compression going on, you can hook these into the elastic on the other side and keep this in place. I like that this is not giant, bright, flashy, white uh, gauze and stuff, or, or like a gray or anything. This is like a subdued, almost like an OD green, a, you know, flat darker, coyote, whatever you want to call it, kind of uh, color. And that, I feel, is better for like a, a tactical situation. You're not drawing attention to something because you're throwing in an out of place color. And then it looks like in addition to this elastic, there seems to be some kind of rubber impregnated. I'm not sure if that's to help with the elasticity or if it adds like a non-slip kind of thing, because it seems like a non-slip texture. So maybe it helps it grip when it's when it's all the way around. I mean, it doesn't seem to slide very well. So I mean, maybe that's that's its intended function. But yeah, it actually seems pretty well thought out. I might have to get a couple more of these because these take up way less space. Now these aren't meant for like huge wounds, you know. That I'm I'm sure they offer different sizes and everything, but for like my ankle medical kit, which is meant for like an injury to an extremity, like an arm, a leg, or a thigh, things like that, I think this would really come in handy. I think this would be a better option than just plain bitch ass gauze. And uh, this this elastic is what's really getting to me right here. This is this is really gonna affect a lot of good pressure on that injury. It's gonna help stop or slow that bleed. And then you can start to uh, to release that tourniquet slowly and see if it's effective. And if it is, you can just leave this in place and you can leave the tourniquet in place. Or if shit's really bad enough, you can remove that tourniquet and put it on a different extremity or whatever the case may be. I think this is a fantastic option. I think this is a good size. I think it's I think it's good for what it needs to be. And the price is awesome. I mean, really, you're getting like two of these for about 17 bucks. And the H&H, &H, which is also a similar size, uh, let me go ahead and pull those up, because the H&H, &H, it's really small, it's compact, it's, I think you get an extra foot of elastic here which is, um, it's not a plus or a minus. I think this is enough. And those are like nine bucks and 10 cents. I, I guess they're similarly priced. I'll put a link to both down below if you want to check them out, if you're kind of looking for something similar. But I really, really think, in my opinion, as a former medic and a current police medic, that this, this is a good option right here for civilian carry, on-duty carry, off-duty carry. If you're looking at something compact that you can carry on you, or your IFAC is your individual first aid kit, if that is pretty small and you're trying to maximize the space you do have to work with, I think for a trauma bandage, this, uh, two of these, shit, probably about three of these is about the size of almost like a regular ETB or an Israeli trauma bandage. So I think these are a great option and I think they're really worth looking into. So anyway guys, thanks for joining me on today's video. Uh, I'll be doing some updates on some other things as we go along. If you did like, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, it helps the channel out. Leave a comment down below with uh, something else cool medical you found. I think, uh, I, I love this stuff. I think medical shit is really interesting and it's amazing how much it's changed even just in the last, oh gosh, how long has it been? Like 10 years? 10 years since I started in the medical field. Jesus Christ, getting old, guys. But yeah, anyway, 
If you did leave a, you know, just leave a like or something, or don't, I don't care. It's fun. Let's just have a good day today, guys. It's, the world's crazy enough. Let's just try to have some fun, okay? Anyway, stay safe out there. Have fun. Tell your friends that you love them and your family as well if you do love them. If you don't, don't tell them that, but whatever. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you in the next one.